Well, the House of Representatives today passed a measure to increase stimulus checks from $600 to $2,000. President Trump had delayed signing the coronavirus relief bill for several days, complaining it should have contained a larger amount for individuals. It is not clear if the Republican-controlled Senate, though, will pass the additional funding when the chamber convenes tomorrow. The House also voted tonight to override President Trump's veto on a separate bill that funds the U.S. military. If the Senate follows suit, it will be the first to override the president's term. Well, let's go to KTV's Tom Baker now with a look at some of the items inside that bill. Tom. Well, in the relief bill's almost 5,600 pages, 5,600, the majority of the funds will go to help 160 million people get money in their pockets and vaccines in their arms. Sometime early in the new year, 85% of U.S. households will get a $600 economic impact payment check or an electronic deposit for each adult. But that's only half of what they got in the spring. Children under age 17 will also get six hundred dollars that money is going to be spent maybe spent on rent on food on basic necessities but it's going to go into the economy so it pumps right back in so a married couple making seventy five thousand dollars a year with two children would get a twenty four hundred dollar payment all of this varies based on your income marital status and the number of children you have under age 17. Unemployed people will get an additional $300 weekly supplemental benefit for the next 10 weeks, which would have been 11 weeks, but the president signed the bill too late for that. Gig workers and independent contractors will get a similar extension to their federal pandemic relief. Here we have a tool that goes direct to your bank account and stimulate spending, and uh, that's that's always a big part of a recession cure. SNAP benefits are raised by 15% for the next six months. The pandemic EBT program that goes to food stamp families with very young children is also expanded to make sure food is available to them. Food banks, pantries, and senior nutrition programs will share almost $600 million in grants. $48 billion is earmarked to the states to buy vaccines and continue infection testing and hospital assistance. It does help in a significant way and it does help for a relatively short period of time. This stimulus program is a bridge to the next administration and to the next Congress. There are many additional benefits for small businesses, nonprofits, airports, transit, and road project. That plus there are significant losers who are also in this situation. Those are detailed in my written web story on KTVU.com. Tom Vakar, KTVU Fox 2 News.